السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters Welcome in a new lesson of our religion Islam Today we will talk about fasting Ramadan is time to empty your stomach to feed your soul Allah glory be to him said أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون صدق الله العظيم verse 183 from سورة البقرة O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting, as it was decreed upon those before you, that you may become righteous. So, Allah, glory be to Him, order us to fast, as the fast was root before for the previous people, but was different like us, and this is fasting, teach us the greatest pity to fear Allah and worship Him. Good. And in the hadith, an Abi Abdul Rahman bin Abdullah bin Omar, an Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah bin Omar bin Al-Khattab radiallahu anhuma, call. سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وحج البيت وصوم رمضان and in the another version from this hadith صوم رمضان is number four before Saum Ramadan, then Hajjul Bayt. The Prophet وسلم, said, Islam has been built upon five things or five pillars on satisfying that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Perform Salah, give Zakah, fasting during Ramadan, and perform Hajj to the house of Allah. Narrated by Al Bukhari and Muslim. Here in this hadith, the Prophet teaches us that Islam is built upon five pillars. First pillar, satisfy that there is no God but Allah. And the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This is number one. Number two, perform salah. Perform five prayers daily. Number three, give the care to the poor and needy. Number four, fasting during the month of Ramadan. And number five, perform hajj to the house of Allah to Kaaba in Saudi Arabia. Now, all the meaning of fasting. Fasting is mean refrain, eating, drinking, and all bad deeds from dawn to dust, from Fajr to Maghrib from sunrise to sunset. So, in Ramadan, we should not only refrain eating and drinking, but also refrain and avoid all bad deeds from lying, stealing, etc. The types of fast 
Fasting is two kind, obligatory and voluntary. Obligatory fasting, this is fast month of Ramadan. And the voluntary fasting, such as fasting six days of Shawwal and fasting Yawm Arafah, the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, and fasting Monday and Thursday from each week, etc. Ramadan month of fasting. As you know, the Hijri months of Islamic calendar consist of 12 months. Start with Muharram, Safar, Rabia Awal, Rabia Thani, Jamad Al Awal, Jamad Al Thani, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Qada, Dhul Hijjah. These are the Hijri months, and Ramadan is the ninth month of Hijri calendar or Islamic calendar. Now we need to recognize when we know the, start, the starting of month of Ramadan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad, peace be upon him, teach us that we can know the starting of Ramadan by two things. The first, by seeing the crescent moon of Ramadan or complete the month of Shaban 30 days. And this, what we should do, we say when we the moon. In the first hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, observing the fast and sighting it in the new moon, and breakfast on sighting it the new moon. But if the sky is cloudy for you, then complete months of Shaban to 30, narrated by Muslim. So we should to start to fast. In month of Ramadan, if we see the crescent, the moon of Ramadan, and if we didn't see this crescent of Ramadan, so we should to complete Shaban. Shaban, this is the month before Ramadan. So we should, if we didn't see the crescent of Ramadan, so we should to complete Shaban to 30 days, then start to fast from the first of Shawwal and we break up our fast when we do the crescent of the month of Shawwal. What we should we say if we see the crescent of Ramadan or any of other Hijri months? The Prophet وسلم, teach us that we should say when we see the crescent Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil yumni wal iman was salamata wal islam rabbi wa rabbuka Allah narrated by At-Tirmizi O oh Allah bring this month upon us by God and peace and faith and Islam and my Lord and you is Allah. Sadaq Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now we reach to what the role of fasting months of Ramadan. Month of Ramadan, we should fast in it, and each Muslim should fast. But there are conditions for who will fast. These conditions 
should be same. Same. So same it is mean has healthy. So sick people or crazy not allowed to fast. Adult. So the babies and children under age of 80, 10 years should not allowed to fast, but their parents should learn him to practice as much as he can. Three, settled and settled mean they are staying in their country, not traveler. So traveler not allowed to fast. Capable. So those people, those sick people, not allowed to fast. But not each one is sick should not should not fast no those only who have a dangerous sick or their doctor told them that they need to break their fast not fasting because fasting is very dangerous for them. In this case, they not allowed to fast. And this is from our Islam. So only those person, if the person have these conditions, he have to fast. And if not, so not allowed to fast. Now, when we were obligated to fast, when in the second HD year, can someone ask why Allah didn't order us to fast in the first HD year? I can reply by in the first year of Hijri calendar, the Prophet وسلم, and Muslims start to make a Islamic nation and they start to spread Islam and in the beginning to practice the religion. So Allah make this to be in the first year to understand all the pillars of their religion and avoid all these bad actions and bad qualities that they did in the before Islam and in the second of his year Allah order the Prophet and Muslims to fast months of Ramadan. Fasting is one of the pillars of Islam. As we know before, Islam has built on five pillars. Shahada, Salah or prayer, Zakah, Saum or fasting, and Hajj or pilgrimage. So, Saum or fasting is the fourth pillar of Islam.
and these are the five parent exam explanation for each one shahada mean there is no god but allah and the prophet muhammad is the messenger of allah prayer mean prayer facing mecca five times a day dawn noon afternoon evening and night to pray fajr zuhur ash maghrib isha and zakah it is a Muslim duty to give 2.5 percentage of their income to the poor and needy and the psalm was prayer or fasting sorry fasting during the holy month of Ramadan Muslims cannot eat or drink from dawn to dusk and the Hajj if possible Muslims must to go to pilgrimage to Mecca once in their life if they can and we reach to the manners or sunnah of fasting. Manners of fasting number one, delay suhoor. And the delay suhoor means fix the meal of suhoor late. The Prophet said, Do suhoor because in suhoor there is blessings. Bukhari and Muslim. قال صلى الله رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تصحروا فإن في السحور بركة. When we take the meals of suhoor, we should to take this meal, to eat this meal, to be able to fast and Allah make in this meal more blessings. Number two, hasten iftar or futur and from Sunnah, we should to start our breakfasting or iftar on date. If we not found date, we from Sunnah to break our fasting on water. Number three, say dua of iftar. We should to say dua, the Prophet. Learn us, this is dua to say when we break our fasting. Allahumma inni laka sumt wa ala rizqika aftart dhahab al-zama wa abtallat al-uruq wa thabat al-ajru insha'Allah. Number four, avoid all bad deeds and doing more good deeds. Avoid all the bad deeds because in, when we are fast, we should not perform any bad deeds because this is make our fasting is unacceptable. And do more good deeds, like do more prayer, do, giving more charity, pray taraweeh. Uh, read Quran more and try to finish reading all Quran more than one times to take more good deeds that Allah prepared to those who fast month of Ramadan perfect. Vetos of month of Ramadan number one. Quran revealed in it. As you know, mentioned in Quran, Allah say, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim." Shahr Ramadan al-ladhi anzil fihi al-Quran hudal al-nas wa bainat min al-huda wal-furqan. فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرَ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Sadaqallahu al-Azim.
Ramadan is the month in which was sent down the Quran as a guide to mankind, as a guide to mankind, and also clear proofs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. Surah Al-Baqarah. Ramadan is the month in which was sent down the Quran as a guide to mankind and also clear props for guidance and judgment between right and the wrong. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 185. Number two, from the verse of Ramadan, has Laylatul Qadr. Allah, glory be to him, said, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Inna Anzalnahu Fi Laylatil Qadr Wa Ma Adraka Ma Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr Khayrun Min Alf Shahar Tanazzal Al Malaikat Wa Al Ruh Fiha Bi Izn Rabbihim كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر صدق الله العظيم. Indeed, we send the Quran down during the night of the sea. And what can make you know what the night of the sea is? The night of the sea is better than a thousand mountains. The angels and the spirits descend therein by the permission of their Lord. Peace, it is until the emergence of the dawn. Of the dawn, Surat al Qadr. Third, forgive our sins. The Prophet said, Who fast the month of Ramadan, all his sins will be forgiven. Number four, the reward in month of Ramadan are multiplied. Number five, gates of paradise are opened and gates of hell are closed. The Prophet said, When the month of Ramadan begins, the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hell are shut, narrated by Al-Bukhari. And the last, Umrah during Ramadan as Hajj with the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The Prophet said, The performance of Umrah during Ramadan is equal to Hajj with me in reward, narrated by Muslim. Now, Nullifers of Fasting. Nullifers means Thinking that can break our fast, such as smearing smoke from incense or smoking, receiving IV fluids, intimate relation, intentional eating, intentional drinking. But if we forgot and drink or eat something we should to stop and complete our fasting then vomiting intentional vomiting menses or post part on bleeding and last taking medication What is the miscible for fasting person? And the miscible means the thing is that allowed to do and didn't, didn't break our fasting, such as syringe, whether in the even or under the skin. Apply eye drops, showering or bathing, donate by blood, and rinsing the mouth and nose without exaggeration.
There are some people cannot fast. Some of them are holders. But if anyone from holders can fast, okay. But only this for the others, those who cannot fast very sick or the fast can hurt themselves. Number two, travelers. And not any traveler can break his fast. No, but there is a limit for the distance for travel from place to place. Do you know how long is this distance? Or the limit for this distance should be more than 80 kilometers. So, if someone travels from place to place for 80 kilometers or more, he can break his fast, but less than this kilo, 10, 80 kilometers, not allowed to break his fast. Number three, the sick. And also here we should to mention an important thing that the sick or the doctor tell them that fasting is very dangerous for him. But if normal sick like flu or any easy um, uh, medicine, he cannot break his fast. Number four, the pregnant woman. Number five, breastfeeding mother, if she fears about herself or her child. So, if she, if it is easy to her to fast, so she can fast. But if she fears upon herself or her child, so she allowed to didn't fast. Number three, being more charitable. So in month of Ramadan, you can give more charity for those poor and needy. Number four, drawing closer to Allah. Fasting teach you to be closer to Allah. And because in month of Ramadan, we should to do more good deeds. And maybe in the other months, you'll be very busy in your work. Sometimes you cannot see members of your family. Also, you can forget Allah when you didn't perform your prayer. So Allah makes this month to be closer to Him and to do more good deeds, to return to Allah, to your religion, Islam. Number four, five, retaining the manas. And this means Refraining more good deeds that you will do in month of Ramadan, such as praying, giving charity, piety, ihsan, patience, say the truth, etc. Number six. Sensing unity of Muslims. So in Ramadan, when we fast, all of Muslims around the world are fasting. So this make us one community, make us united. So Muslims can. Be ones 
can be united, can be strong. Number seven, acquiring patience. How? When you fast, you endorse not eating and drinking from dawn to dawn. So this is teach you to be patient. Number eight, recognizing one can change. How does it achieve? Because when you fast, avoid eating and drinking and all bad deeds during the month of Ramadan. This is can help you to avoid all these bad deeds during the whole year, such as who smoke or lie, cheat, did not pray, didn't read Quran, didn't help poor and needy, and he stealing. So when he he fast and avoid all these deeds in month of Ramadan, he can also help himself to avoid all these bad deeds in the whole year. So this is month of Ramadan is a change to change, a chance to change. Number nine, from the benefits of fasting, learning you discipline. And discipline means to control in yourself. How this achieve? Because when you fast, or in the normal days, you used to eat and drink and do and say whatever, whenever and wherever you want. But when you fast, you be controlling on yourself by control in your staying and action, by doing the good deeds and avoid bad ones. And there is another big reward for fasting that there is in the advertised door, it calls Taburrayan. Not enter from this door except fast time. The Prophet وسلم, said, In the Jannati Babun, you call Lahur Rayan, yet Hulumunhu saw Imuna Yomal Kiyama. لا يدخل منه أحد غيرهم يقال أين الصائمون فيقومون لا يدخل منه أحد غيرهم فإذا دخلوا أغلق فلم يدخل منه أحد متفق عليه أبروف صلى الله عليه وسلم There is in paradise door it calls الريان only five stars enter from this door in the day of judgment. And in the day of judgment, the angels say, Where is five stars? So, five stars standing and enter Jannah from this door. And when they enter, it closed. So, no one else can enter from it. Narrated by Al Bukhari and Muslim. And there are a healthy benefits for fasting, such as number one, fat lose. When you fast, this is help you to lose some weight of your body. And if you need to lose more weight from your body, you should to walk or run for 30 minutes specific before a then of Maghreb. Number two, improved cognitive function. How? 
when you fall, this makes your mind, self, and your soul clean and pure. So fasting not only make yourself and for pure or strong, but also improve your mental skills. Number three, lower inflammation. Have because when we fast, our stomach take rest, so it can work again. Good. But when we eat and drink more, this make our stomach get hurt. So also our inside and outside bodies can get sick. And they say that the stomach is the house of its illness. So when we fast, this is lower, lower inflammation and lower any bad actors can happen to our body. Number four, lower blood pressure. Number five, blood sugar control. When we fast, this is make us control in the sugar in our body. Number six, better metabolic health. Number seven, long pity. When we keep our body health, this is help us to stay more healthy and to live for more times but this this is the reason because to live more this is by the willingness of Allah but this is reasons for fasting and when you give your body healthy this is make you live for long time and we stop in this hadith the Prophet وسلم, said however versus Ramadan and follows it with six days of shawwal it will be as if he fasted for a lifetime narrated by Muslim قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صام رمضان ثم أتبعه ستة من شوال فكأنما صام الدهر كله. So when we fast all month of Ramadan and after it we followed by fasting the six days of شوال. Maybe the six days after each other. But after uh, after Eid, because the days of Eid is forbidden to fast in the days of Eid. Um, the first three days of Eid, this is forbidden, not allowed to fast in it. So if you need to fast the six days of Shawwal, you can start from the fourth day of Shawwal. And you can fast these six days forward, or you can separated it as much you can so in the end of our lesson thank you for your watching and listening assalamu alaikum